Hi guys, Heather here. Today's video request comes from Jojo. Hi Jojo. And they were asking, what exactly does a nurse carry in her nursing bag? Well, that's a good question because sometimes I don't even know. I just throw everything that's in my pockets into the purse and some things could be sitting there for like ever. But anyways, this is my nursing bag. And it's just a purse, actually. You can use whatever you want. I used to have like a different nursing bag, you know, kind of like a over the shoulder. Anyways, I can't describe it. So that's what I use now. And, you know, besides a stethoscope, which I don't carry in my bag, you know, just kind of carry it around your neck or whatever. But anyways, here we go. It's kind of heavy too. Well, so one of the first things is, oh, here's what came up on the top. Alcohol prep. You know how many of these we go through a day? A lot. So that's why I just grab a whole huge stack. I mean, even a whole huge stack like this, you'll probably go through like two stacks of these a day. It's pretty crazy. So that's number one. And then, oh, here is a saline flush. Okay. And these are used to flush IV ports central lines and all that good stuff. So I always carry a couple of these with me because you never know, your IV might be beeping when you walk by the room and you don't wanna go in there without your flush. So it's handy to have it with you, right? So you don't have to go into the IV room and grab flush, saves you a little bit of time. And then here's lotion. Okay, lotion, pretty darn important because we're constantly using the alcohol rub that's in the rooms. So, you know, you gotta wash your hands, use alcohol rub every time you go in and out of the room, and your hands start to look a little tore up. So, this is warm sugar vanilla, so it's a good idea to carry some lotion with you, or at least have it in your bag. And then, what else? Okay, I have a red pen, because this red pen is to note my nursing orders. So you know that those orders have been done. You don't really have to have a red pen, but it's kind of fun having a different color pen instead of blue or black all the time, right? And then these are kind of different than an alcohol wipe. This is a adhesive remover, which is nice for those people when you're taking out their IVs. Um, they have a ton of hair. They're like incredibly hairy. And instead of giving them an arm wax, you can use one of these. Kind of nice. Hi, so my camera decided to turn off by itself. So I was talking about the gauze sponge, the two by two, and this is used to take out IVs when your patient's going home. You might want to carry a couple of these around just in case when your patient goes home. And the tape to use, I don't know if you saw this earlier, but I carry tape on the end of my stethoscope. Paper tape, make sure it's paper for the patient's frail skin because you don't want to tear their skin off, right? I wouldn't. And then there's Tylenol. I don't know, just in case you get a headache, some people do, because there's a lot of beeping and noises and ringing at the hospital. I don't really get headaches, but some people do, so maybe it's handy to have. And then, I don't know why these are in here, but these are electrodes for a telemetry monitor. I must have just had them in my pocket one day and threw them in the bag, but you don't really need these but I just wanted to show that to you, I guess. I don't know. Chapstick. Chapstick's really good for those dry lips, and this one's really yummy. It's whipped cream. Love it. So I always have to carry that around. And then gum, you know, gum's always a good snack. This one's strawberry shortcake. It's pretty darn good. And then here's some scissors. In case you have to cut bandages or curlix or some kind of dressing off scissors and here is a pen light to check people's pupils mine still works pen light to check pupils or I don't know use it as a little flashlight in case you're in the dark or something and a planner gotta have a planner because you want to know what days you're working you don't want to show up to work when you're not supposed to or not show up when you're supposed to so a planner is always good that's what I use to write my days in when I work. And then, of course, your badge. Can't really show you my badge, but carry your badge with you so people know who you are. 
and of course the wallet I mean you don't really have to carry around anything but your license right or maybe some money for lunch or a credit card I don't know oatmeal I love oatmeal it's a good snack I work 12 hours so I need a couple of breaks to eat a snack we don't want to get hypoglycemic right so here is some hazelnut latte oatmeal but you can bring whatever you want and then I think um, that's all that pretty much pertains to nursing so that's it thanks Jojo for the video request and thanks everyone for watching and I'll talk to you soon Bye.